Hello there, I hope you are doing so well today. We are having a snow day, or as I like to call it, a so day. So I decided that uh, since it's freezing, it might be a good time to hop on the quilt jacket train. I am aware that I am about a year and a half late to this trend, but uh, I still think they're cute, so we're gonna do it. My friend Sarah gave me these quilted pillowcases last year and I think this would be a very cute design to make a quilted jacket out of. Um, I have no pattern so I'm going to have to maybe trace a jacket that I already have. We're gonna see. I'm not quite sure how this is gonna go but we will find out. So I have down here my pillowcases and I found this jacket that I'm going to be using for the pattern, it's got a really good fit and it's very cozy. I got it at Goodwill about two years ago. That's a lie. Like five years ago. Thinking right now, let me show you. So we have these two pieces and I want this design to go across the front and the back of the jacket. Uh, this part does have just a little bit of staining, so this is going to be the back of the jacket and hopefully just my hair will cover it when I wear it. I'm thinking about this sort of going over the shoulders, depending on how big we need it to get. This might be a bit cropped, but honestly I'm fine with that. What I need to do first is take this off, get some measurements from it, and start figuring out the shapes I'm going to be cutting out of these two pillowcases. Hello there! I have run into a couple of problems. Also, I am trying my mic muff for this segment. If the sound is bad, please let me know and I'll go back to using my micro microphone. So while I was cutting out the jacket pieces and pinning them together just to see if everything looked good, I realized that I really like this little border at the bottom and I wanted the edges to match up so that this would be kind of the bottom of the jacket. Now, in doing that, I got the sleeves sort of misaligned. Sleeve holes came out really big. I'm not sure why. So I'm trying to decide if I want to sew them up a little bit more or just have a larger sleeve on this. That way I could get tops and dresses with larger sleeves inside, which is always good. We do like that. Also, the collar is much too high. And I've decided I want sort of like a, a circular neck so I can put a Peter Pan collar onto the jacket itself. At first, I was thinking about using this light blue. There is some fabric in the pillowcases that matches this. However, um, I think it is too much of a stretch and I'm going to actually use this for bias tape binding on the inside to cover all my seams, which I think are going to be pretty messy. I also, since this is just two pillowcases, do not have enough fabric to make sleeves. I don't want like a muscle vest, although that would be a look. I'm going to take some white fabric and then quilt it to sort of try and get it to match the look of the jacket. We are probably going to end up with something that looks like a quilted letterman's jacket, but that's fine. I think it'll still be cute. And then my plan right now, if I have enough scraps, which I'm pretty sure I do, is to keep the border and use that for the cuffs. And I think that will all be pretty good. 
so I'm going to make some adjustments and try and start to put together uh, this <laughs> so that it actually looks like a garment. <laughs> I'm going to cut out some sleeves, but while I do that, I thought we could maybe chat a little bit. How are you? How's your day going? Hopefully really good. Do you have any New Year's resolutions? I really like New Year's resolutions. I am usually pretty good at following them, completing them. Last year, however, I gave myself four specific resolutions and I was able to complete them all. And I was extremely proud of that. They were be more organized. I started doing sort of a day-to-day to-do -day to list just for after work things. That helped me get organized and have more direction in what I wanted to work on outside of the office. My second one was to get a new job. I actually got two new jobs in 2021. It was also a goal of mine to grow my YouTube, and we are now at 225 subscribers, I think. I am so excited to have you all here. Thank you so, so much for following. Um, if you have suggestions or types of videos that you want to see, please let me know. I am happy to hear any feedback that you may have. It really means a lot, so thank you. And then my last uh, resolution was everybody's resolution and that was to exercise and we did pretty well on that too um i got outside went for lots of hikes and dog walks and had generally just a really good time trying to be a little bit more active this year the first one is again grow the youtube channel i would really love to double subscriber base but a lot of that is just going to come from trying to make content that people are interested in and be more comfortable with being in front of the camera and trying new things and I really want if you've come here to learn something for it to be a comfortable experience for you. I'm going to try one of these sleeve parts on. This is going to be like a lining for the inside. It's going to be a little low, like not all the way up on the shoulder, feeling a little tight. Worst case scenario, I'll just put an extension in it and it will be fine. What other resolutions did I have? Oh, reconnect with friends. I turned very agoraphobic. I I got I I became afraid of going out. Which is weird cuz I used to be a highly social person and the pandemic just made me realize my true form as an introvert. And that is fine. During the pandemic where you know all I could do was hang out at home with my family and luckily I get along really really well with my family so I sort of just got to this point where I was thinking like this is fine I'm safe I can't get sick I'm with people who I love and I'm okay with staying in so I'm having an okay time over the summer when everybody got vaccinated my friends started inviting me out to things and I went to a few things but I kept on feeling like, oh, we're not supposed to be doing this, I'm not ready, I'm not emotionally ready. So I didn't come to a lot of stuff. Um, I also need time to emotionally prepare to go out and socialize, but I really want to try and be more open to actually seeing my friends this year and reconnecting with them. Lovely people and I am so lucky to have them. Uh, I want to actually spend time with them. And those are kind of my plans. I'm gonna continue cutting out these sleeves. I'm I'm trying to put my jacket on. Yeah, pinning to see kind of what it's gonna look like. Oh, yeah, I, I think I like it so far. 
It's very comfy. Oh, I'm, I'm quite pleased. Anyways, I think next step is going to be uh, sewing this clothes, putting a cuff onto the wrist. No, I was hoping to get more of this done tonight. I think I need to go to bed. The sleeves are finished. That's good. I was hoping to do sort of a rough cut of editing for this video tonight, but I'm sleepy and I need to go into work early tomorrow because I'm a career boy. I just don't think it's gonna happen and that's okay. No. We are going to be open to listening to ourselves when we need to rest this year. That's something I want me to do and that is something that I want all of you to do as well. And tomorrow we will put these sleeves on. All right, good night, bye. All right, so we've got the sleeves on and I'm really liking how this is looking so far. The inside is not very cute. Like, we've got these seams here. The plan is to take some bias tape and I think I'll just cover all the seams with the bias tape and it'll be nice and blue and you'll be able to see that from the inside. But I think, think if I don't want it sh to show through to the other side, I'm gonna have to hand sew it all. From Michael's, I went earlier this week. These were $4.99 and so far they were the only thing that I have bought for this jacket, everything else was gifted from my friend Sarah or like fabric I already had in my stash. I had a, a placket that will go just sort of down here. I can't remember which side is like the female side to go over. I mean, it doesn't matter, nobody cares. And then we'll do some sort of color and I think we'll be done. Oh, 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 oh. I'm so excited. Okay, let's do it. So I got really lucky and ended up just being able to cut one side of the pillow to use as the button placket for the jacket. Here we are adding that bias tape over all of the inside seams so that they look nice and tidy. And it's that time of the video, it's the pajama dance. Whenever the pajama dance happens, it's usually because I'm about ready for the project to be over and I'm trying to hype myself up. Here I am cutting the collar for the jacket. This is again another side of the pillowcases. I was talking about doing a Peter Pan collar, but this just seemed like it would be easy. <laughs> 